today I'm going to be doing a monarch butterfly inspired look just from the colors. I'm not going to like draw a butterfly in my eye or anything. And I'm sorry if I talk kind of fast or go over anything quack, quick, not quack. Um, just because this look takes a little while. There's a lot of different colors and stuff that we're using. So if I go too fast, just pause the video and rewatch that little section. And I hope you guys enjoy the look. So like always, you wanted to prime your eyes first, which I've already done. Um, and then we're going to take a little cream colored shadow. And it is like a cream shadow too. And we're just going to put that all over our eye, even up to that brow bone. Now you want to take an orange or a yellowish color. I'm using that color right there. And we're going to take that and put it in up to our crease. Okay, and you really need to pack on that orangish yellow color. Like, if you can tell, it's really thick because when you first put it on, I just did a little swatch there on my hand, that's about how dark it is. And look at how dark it is up there. So you literally just want to pack it on over and over again. Okay, the next thing you want to do, which I've already done on this eye, is take sort of an orangish brown color. I'm using that color right there. And you want to put it about one to two centimeters in and just pack it on because if you sort of do circles or smudge it then all that eyeshadow underneath will start to move because it's just packed on so thick so you just want to pack it on over top and of course we need to do highlights so just take a shimmery vanilla color or a shimmery white color whatever you like and place it under your brow bone and in your inner corner so the next thing we're actually going to do is line our waterline using a white liner just to help open the eye. So after you've lined your waterline with that white, we're gonna take a gold or an orangish color of a liquid liner. And you don't wanna put this in your waterline because liquid liners are not safe for your waterline. Is Some people say they are, but they sting, they burn, it can't be good for you. So you just wanna take that and put it in your lower lash line. I need a mirror here, but I don't have one, so. and you just want to smudge it along the bottom. Okay, once you've put that golden liner under there, you want to sort of squint your eyes a bit so it doesn't dry and get stuck to your skin down there because liquid liners, especially this one for some reason, it's just a cheap Avon one, so it takes a really long time to dry and I find that if I just let my eyes completely relax, then it tends to go everywhere. So just warning you guys of that. The next thing we're gonna do is blush. I'm just taking sort of an orangey brown colored blush and you just want a bit of it starting at the back of your cheekbone and working it forward. For our lips, we are just going to take sort of, this one looks like it's pink, but it's actually more clear, and it's just a minty, and you just want a little bit of that. Because when you have a really big eye like we do, you do not want a really harsh, intense lip. Now we're going to do the final step, which is lashes and mascara on the top and all that good stuff. And I'm not going to put these on on camera because I'm not very good at putting on fake lashes. I've done it about a billion times, but I'm still not that great at it. So I'm gonna do it off of camera. You guys can put yours on now if you have any, or you can just wait. <laughs> okay, now we have these huge lashes on. And the reason I picked such a big lash is because if it's more of like a butterfly inspired look, it can be more like the wings and stuff instead of like having to draw a wing out there. Yeah, so if you can tell, they are pretty darn big. I I think they were like seven bucks. I don't remember what brand they are. But now we sort of have to make them blend in because if you can tell this one, I kind of didn't do as good. So we are going to take our liner. I'm using a gel liner. You guys can use whatever black liner you want. Actually, this one's a bit shimmery. I, if you guys can see that, it has like a bit of a shimmer to it, which is perfect. And you just want to line like along the top so it looks like one smooth line. So now that I've done my line on top, it looks a lot smoother and sort of blends in well, even though they still definitely do not look real. The next thing we're going to do is sort of take this and flick it out. And my lash kind of looks like the little flick right now, but it is not. So you just want to take it and you want to sort of curl it. This is sort of like inspired by the antenna, I guess. And sort of uh, curl it like that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... Yeah, you can. Okay, so yeah, just curl it like that and do that for the other side. Last thing we're going to do is put on some mascara, and you want to try and curl your lashes so that your lower lashes sort of blend in with these ones, and it's not like lashes, other lashes. 
because that looks really funny and it's kind of difficult with these huge ones, so I'm gonna do that off camera too. So I've curled them, and now I just wanna put a tiny bit of mascara on them, just to sort of blend them all together, and because I naturally have like almost white lashes, so you'll be able to see it really easily. And of course, the last thing you wanna do is just put some mascara on your bottom lashes so they look big and full too. Okay, so here is the whole finished look. As you can tell, it's really big and bold. I have no idea where you would wear this, but have fun with it. It's great for costume parties, I guess. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.